Hey everybody, it's Henry W. Steele, and this is the second video in a series of videos that I'm doing about price action or price levels or forecasting price or however you want to look at it. I'm still a bit under the weather, so my voice is probably not the highest of quality right now, so I apologize for that. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video recorded and uploaded before the week got much older. In this one, I'm going to talk about volatility in regards to which section of the trend it's in, if that makes sense. I actually did a video concerning this topic many years ago that was part of my 60 second secret video series that I used to have that I wound up deleting the whole thing, the whole video series, a year or two after I recorded it because the sound quality was so bad people kept commenting how bad the sound was so I just wound up deleting it. But this is a really good uh, thing I wanted to show again. So I wanted to go and do a quick video about it. And that is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this is the Great British Pound. U.S. dollars is a one-day chart. When you see at the beginning of a trend, for instance, right here, the market had been moving sideways, and you get this tremendous increase in volatility here. In other words, this candle is like, 200% what this candle or these candles are and it has almost no tail so the entirety or almost the entirety of the movement is in the direction of the breakout here this is indicating that the trend is going to continue in the same direction because you have a tremendous increase in volatility at the beginning of a trend right there okay does that make sense I hope and so we would s <clears throat> excuse me, we would expect that the trend would continue at least as much more as the price that moved here. So in other words, if I get the retracement bar or the Fibonacci retracement right there, all that it moved right there, I would expect it to move at least that much more. And as we can see, obviously it moved significantly more than that, but that would be my, at least, that was my at least expectation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, when we see the same kind of increase, but the market has already been trending in that direction, you know, we had a big increase in volatility, and then smaller days here, smaller days, smaller days, and then we have a big increase in volatility again, where it's probably right about twice what it was previously for the previous week or so. It indicates that the trend's becoming exhausted, it's uh, probably going to end or at the very least take a break for three to five days or so or you know I shouldn't say days I should say time periods really <clears throat> and we can see obviously that's what happened here these increases in volatility I really wouldn't consider to be enough to really look at it I mean we want something that's significantly just obviously larger like for instance right here the market was moving up it was moving up that's a bit of an increase in volatility and all of a sudden it just dramatically increases right here that would be um, showing exhaustion right there. We got two large candles. Now keep in mind that this is not a method to guarantee. I mean, this isn't. There's no guarantee with this. It's just something. It's um, how should I say it? It's part of reading the price action on the chart. When you have an increase in volatility at the beginning of a trend, it usually indicates it's going to keep going. When you have an increase in volatility at the end of a trend, it usually indicates that the trend is becoming exhausted and will not continue for very much longer okay so that's the way to look at it doesn't mean that it's going to turn right then or anything along those lines it's just that's just part of price action to look at so um you probably get the idea i probably do not need to go over this anymore It'd just be repetitive and boring for you guys so i'll spare you any of that nonsense and i'm going to go ahead and end the video here and i hope you guys are able to use this to your benefit at least at some level so until next time i'll talk to you later